How's it going? This is Andrew and uh, welcome to my shop and uh, we're continuing on with the Mahogany Buffet project. Um, I took the planks out of here and uh, into the wood shop next door which is a kind of an outdoor up here and I ran them through the table saw and uh, to true up the opposite side of the hand plane surface and so now the planks are straight and true. My, my uh, hand jointing um, actually came out much better than I thought. And so I actually have the two jointed edges lined up here and the planks line up almost perfectly well. Much better than I thought possible. So I'm very happy about that adjustment today. So um, that was yesterday. And uh, so now I'm, I'm ready to do uh, an assembly of that tonight. I'm going to try to do it. I don't know if I can. I've, I've got to get these vices done and out of here. And I'm, I'm setting up for, um, I, I got a, a new milling head. This big monster, it's a 6 inch 12 tooth uh, milling head because I need to remill uh, the jaws uh, for this vise. They're, they're really in, in bad shape and uh, they need to get remilled. And this is the, the way I have chosen to do it. I got this off of eBay really cheap so I thought I would put this in my my web milling machine which is just off camera. Um, I got an eBay find I want to share but that'll be tomorrow. That's what the uh, three quarter inch pipe is for. This is for my scrap pile out back uh, and I'll reveal that tomorrow. In the meantime we're going to see if I can finish uh, putting these uh, vices together and get them out of here and um, hopefully I can get some time because I need to clear the bench. I need to expose the hard surface so I can do the biscuit uh, drilling. So uh, give me a few minutes to do some setups and then I'll do a, a tighter shot on the uh, vice work and we'll go from there. Okay, so got a little bit of cleanup and enough room that I can work on these two vices, get them put together. I found these awesome absorbent pads, by the way, over at, at Costco. They're actually designed for dogs. <laughs> but it's got an absorbent uh, pad on top and then a plastic back so oil and grease doesn't soak on through. So, in case you're looking for something, it's at Kirkland. It's a big yellow box, 100 sheets for. Um, I think it's $15. Very cool. <clears throat> so, so I've, I've already partially assembled. I've put the uh, slider in. So I've uh, already put the uh, vertical slider in and I got that adjusted so that works really well. And it's been lubricated and I put the top jaw in here. And I'm going to add the bottom jaws here. So this will go in next. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, got the uh, screws. The screws that come out of this thing are massive. You can see there. It must be a good uh, 5 8 inch diameter head. Uh, I assume they wanted to be put together with a lot of torque. But anyway, so put a little lithium grease on here and assemble these from the bottom. Put it through here. A little easier to work with. Well, that side doesn't want to go very well, so I'm going to flip this over. Maybe it threads are clean on that side. I'll try it this way. hearing any noises off camera my son Gabriel is here with me he wanted to come and watch while I make it this video today he said hi Gabriel Gabriel I'm behind the camera I know but you can say hi nope. 
No. super tight because this is a compressed position and uh, you know, holds the pipe here and you tighten it down and if you want to insert the pipe of course you release this catch and the whole thing flips open and you can drop in your pipe here latch it in place tighten down and there we have it that, that is the complete vice so put together really quickly it took way longer to clean it and uh, get all the um, the rust and the crud and the paint, many layers of paint off of it and get it back to its original condition. But um, I think it came out beautifully. And uh, this will be installed on one of the benches out in the wood shop as it's uh, much bigger out there and a lot more room for working on pipe. And the pipe I showed earlier, that one is going to get put into here because I need to uh, cut some, some cut and thread some pipe. So this will go right into use right away um, this week. Okay, let me set up the other vise and we'll put that together. Okay, so here is uh, the next vise. Uh, this is a Woden, not made in England, Woden brand vise. You can see it right there, Woden. Um, this says right here, made in England. And uh, beautiful cast iron, cast iron uh, vise, and uh, my wife and I both worked out of this one as well. And uh, we covered over all of the machined surfaces where the the moving jaw has to go to um, keep the paint off. Cuts down on the process later on, namely now. Make it easier. Yes, keep it in. But mommy's time to have to shower and watch TV. <laughs> okay, and then. Okay, this one's gonna be stubborn. nice and easy now. Now that I've got it kind of started. You can see this 
even this uh, slider portion of the movable jaw has taken a lot of abuse over the years. There's a lot of hammer dings back here where they used it, unfortunately, like an anvil, which is the worst thing you can do to a vise is bang up the rear end of it. But the first one I did, it was so hammered and then ablated that the, um, the the back end here wouldn't even come out of the stationary jaw. And so I had to actually put the whole vise in the mill and actually mill the sides and even mill the top. Somehow it had been banged up so, so much that it just wouldn't even come out. And only until I did that and that, then it finally came out. And fix it up and clean it up. And that's actually my main vice that I use over here on the roll away. The screw holes here are uh, turned out there quarter twenty, and um, but the threads were uh, a little bit rusty, and it was actually very difficult to get this apart originally. And um, but fortunately, I have quarter twenty uh, cap and die, and uh, so I was able to run those out and chase the threads on both sides. So now the the screws and the holes all go together really easily now. I couldn't have done this with my fingers before. So there's that part. Uh, oh, I need to bring in the handle. Oh, I've got to finish this side too. Okay. Now this part. Got some tape back here on this bearing surface. What are you playing with, Gabriel? You playing with your airplane? Daddy, yeah. the way this is a plane movie, this is the characters in the plane movie. Planes? Planes. Yeah. But they have plane fire rescue. Yeah. They have two different, they have different ones. That's right. Which one do you like better? Plane fire rescue. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie, huh? Yeah. I like it too. I forgot his name. Who? Um, and what is his name? Um, Dusty Croppopper. Mm -hmm. Dusty Croppopper. How about this one? I've got a name. Is that Sarge? I forget. Is it, there's something in there in the bottom. Yeah, it's written on the bottom. Can you read it? Thailand. Well, it's Thailand. That's where the airplane was made. Let's take, take a look here. Let's see. Made in Thailand. Yeah, where's the name? I don't see the name of the but that, character. But it's not on there. What is it? I didn't put the name on the unit. Okay. Okay. So, I'm looking around and I notice I don't have the... Uh, Acme thread and, and uh, crank handle, it's out on the other shop. Uh, but I can at least put these together to each other and uh, get it off of the bench now that they're clean. So glad I had tap and die to clean these up. And then the jaws um, are going to get uh, remachined on the uh, milling machine uh, later this week and I'll do a video on that process to get those cleaned up. Alright, let's do a quick check and see if these go together. Huh? Okay. Oh, oh, uh, the uh, stationary threaded pieces. Little caddy lumpus. There we go. Picked up 
up some crud somehow. Why do we have to mill this thing after all? There it goes. No, it's a good tight fit. I don't think I will mill it. If you want something like this to be a good tight fit, and that is that is a pretty tight fit. I did not lubricate it, so it's having a little bit of difficulty. But there you go, it's coming together. Still a little more work to do uh, on the jaws. A little bit of paint sticking up here. Goes in place. But otherwise, um, I like how this comes out with the, the Battleship Gray paint against the uh, cleaned steel. It's a pretty composition. Okay, I'm going to clear the bench here and then set up the planks and then we'll do uh, some biscuit joinery. Okay, so uh, we're all set up here. I've uh, peeled back my uh, bench covers uh, to reveal my uh, beautiful oak surface, which you probably can't even see in this shot, sorry. Uh, this is the workbench I did about a year and a half ago. It's uh, oak uh, plywood, hardwood plywood, and I did an ebonizing process uh, before I sealed it. And uh, it actually came out really beautiful. Another video for another time. Anyway, so. Uh, I've decided to do uh, um, a biscuit, I think every uh, six inches, it's a lot of biscuits, but based on some videos that I saw, that seemed to be the, the best approach to put more often. Um, the ends are going to get cut off because there's cracking and things, so I'll start at the six inch mark and just work my way down. So I've got uh, the tape laid out as a guide, and I've got my uh, angle, and I've got a pencil here, and um, make sure it's nice and sharp. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, marking the points all along here where the... Uh, Um, let me uh, pull out the biscuit joiner and um, get that set up. We'll come back and we'll, we'll cut some holes in this thing. Okay, so uh, got the marks all in place and I pulled one of the planks off. This one is pushed back to my uh, back of bench covers so it'll be nice and stationary. And I got this in adjustment so it'll have uh, the right height so it'll push down on the plank in case it has a warp. I don't see any warp at all. Well, a little bit there, I guess. It's not too bad. I'm gonna go with it. All right, so here's biscuit slot number one. And uh, here we go. Is that lined up good? like magic. Boy, it didn't make anywhere near as much noise as I thought it would. So I check my biscuits, make sure they fit. I'm sure that's not on camera, but that comes in real nice. Alright. So we go. These are what, number 20 size biscuits. Alright, I'm going to go down the line. And I've got my safety goggles on. Right? Got to have safety goggles. What do you think of that, Gabriel? That's pretty cool. Hello, buddy. How's that good? A little test here. Let's see. Uh, oh. Just to make sure. Oh, real nice. It's not exactly in the middle, but it's pretty close. I was pushing oh, down each time, and I had this uh, brace set so that it will be relative to. Um, to this bracket and not to the bench. 
In one video I watched, the guy said he doesn't even use this uh, this bracket. He just leaves it at the top and doesn't even use it. But I thought this thing is not exactly flat. I mean, it's got just a tiny amount of flex. But uh, I figured it'd be better to have this be in a fixed position so that the slots will be relative to the top surface and not relative to the flatness of my bench. My, my bench is very flat all the way down. Wow, it has some damage. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so okay, so I'm gonna flip the the planks around, put the other one down here, and we'll uh, put biscuits in that one. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, back to the uh, other plank, ready to go. And uh, fortunately, I, I marked them well because when I got the other one pulled out and pulling this one in, I wasn't sure which side should be up. That was a little scary. But uh, fortunately, I marked them really well, so it was easy to see. Uh, so I'll go ahead and, and biscuit this side, and uh, we'll come back after that. Position the pull it a little bit. Unfortunately, I just added these two uh, 12 outlet strips. So I have, in addition to the original 10, now I have another 24. So I have 34 outlets on this bench, and I, I think that's finally enough outlets on a bench, in case you're building a bench. I recommend it highly. Here we go. That is a, a done deal. The biscuits are in. And then one recommendation that guy did make on his video was to uh, make sure I do a, um, a test fit. So we're running out of time, but I can do that. Before we go, we'll have to do the glue up tomorrow. Okay, give me one help. Come on over here. I need your help. That's okay. Put a, put a biscuit in every slot. Just don't lick them, whatever you do. But don't lick them. They'll expand out and they'll get stuck. They'll have to chisel them out or something. Don't lift them. Don't lift them. Because they're not seeds. They're not seeds, yeah. It's not for flesh. It's not for plants. Who's going to win? I think you're going to win pretty quick. They look like massive pumpkin seeds or something. Is that it? They look like massive pumpkin seeds. Yeah. The seeds. It would be so good. My son, quite the comedian, song and dance is his big thing these days. Alright, make sure these are all the way in. There we go. Alright, I'm going to bring this thing down now and uh, set it down. Ready buddy? We're going to test and see if we did this right. with this process it's going very well uh, but that's going to do it uh, <laughs> North Tustin Steamworks yes that I'm going to do it for tonight's uh, installment of the mahogany uh, buffet project um, it looks like we'll be able to uh, wrap this up actually you know what it's, it's I'm just looking at my alignment mark and those are not Yeah, the goal, by the way, is to get this done by Christmas uh, Eve. That is the goal, and I think it's very doable uh, because I don't have to do any demolition. Okay, give us one. I don't have to do any demolition um, of the existing buffet other than remove the formica. 
because this is going to rest on top of that once it's glued and the finishing is done. I need to uh, sand it and then uh, finish it. I cut it down the side. I'm going to reuse uh, this corner here and then I have to notch in uh, where the stove is going to go. Totally doable in a little under two weeks, I think so. I've done most of those steps on other projects before, so check out this one. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. So thank you. Okay. And uh, see you guys next week, uh, or next time, probably tomorrow. Uh, but please do like and share and subscribe to our channel. And uh, definitely want to see comments about the videos. If you think I'm doing a great job, or if I'm doing a terrible job, tell me. Um, I love trolls, by the way. Troll away. No problem with trolls. I've got a thick skin, and I know I don't know what I'm doing because this is the first time I've done anything like this, and it is fortunately working very well. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Thanks. You're there. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.